Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast from meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, well, I'm glad we got that rocket launch off. Uh, we've been talking about it for a while, so that's great. And so uh, now today, now we're going to the work week. We're going to see some pretty good weather. If you get to work on the deck today or just outside in general, that's great. So we got temperatures in the 70s. Now I say that there might be some isolated showers later today, but it's a pretty low chance. A few days ago, it looked like we'd see uh, quite a bit of rain in the region because the station in front was going to be a little closer to us. Well, it's somewhat close, but it's not on top of us and high pressures to the northeast. We do have some cool weather trying to come in from the ocean. That's going to keep temps down a little bit today, uh, but there's a lot of heat building to our southwest. In the next couple of days, that heat's going to come pouring in. So today, we're in the low to mid 70s. Looks pretty good. Some upper 70s to our west and southwest, Charlotte and uh, Louisville. Now tomorrow, the heat starts pumping in a little bit. We'll kind of just slowly rise each day. 75 here, some upper 70s inland. Maybe a couple of 80s inland towards Richmond and D.C. We'll see. 85 in New York. And then we're going to lose that east wind. We'll get a south wind going into Wednesday, so we heat up here. And those 80s, they're going to reach all the way up into Canada, and it's even got it at 90 in New York. We'll see. It's possible. I mean, 87 in D.C., we're going to heat things up here even more than to uh, round out the week. But luckily, the humidity is still not bad. This is great. Humidity has been great lately, uh, up at times, but not much. And so uh, it's going to be these dew points will be in the 50s. That's comfortable for this time of year. So dew points in the 50s, and then they might climb a little bit though Friday, Saturday. So with that heat, might start to feel a little uh, summery around here later this week. We'll see. Super Doppler 10 radar. Right now it's nice and quiet. There have been a couple of showers around Bertie County in the last two hours, but right now they're mostly around Greenville and Rocky Mount. So there'll be some isolated showers in the region today. Uh, most of them off to our west, but once in a while, I think we're going to catch a few isolated showers. Model really not showing much. Some other models do suggest some isolated showers will come in from the I-95 corridor and move into Hampton Roads this afternoon. So I'm calling for a 20% chance for a few showers. Otherwise, mix of sun and clouds, east winds 5 to 10, looking pretty good overall. Partly cloudy skies at 6 p.m., maybe a stray shower too, and a stray shower is not out of the question tonight. Uh, tomorrow we got partly cloudy skies. There could be a stray shower again, but uh, pretty low chance. Winds out of the east, and then as we get into Wednesday, the winds are out of the south. So today, east winds 5 to 10. you got isolated showers only, partly cloudy uh, to mostly cloudy skies. 74 Elizabeth City, 71 Nags Head, 74 in, or 75 rather, in Ahoskie. 72 Virginia Beach, 73 Norfolk Portsmouth, 75 in Chesapeake, warming up nicely there. 74 Suffolk, 74 in Smithfield. Partly cloudy to mostly cloudy in some isolated showers. Mix of sun and clouds. 69 in Melfa and Matthews, but 71 in Hampton, 70 in for Gloucester. 73 Newport News, mid-70s in Williamsburg. Low to moderate for the humidity today. Winds east 5 to 10. There's sunrise 555 is coming up soon and sunset 808. So next few days, we're heating things up. There's not much rain in that forecast. Highs will be in the 80s Wednesday. We're talking about some low to mid-80s Thursday, Friday. Maybe a little warmer than that. We'll see.